All right, I'm gonna hit something with this baseball bat today. You're gonna have to stick around to find out just what it is. Oh. Mr. Vanderhoff. I don't, I don't care if he's a sponsor. No, 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 no. It, I, I don't care if he's a sponsor. There's, there's something you gotta know. Is that I will not sell out to anyone. This is the choice of the new generation, is to not sell out. All I want to do is sit here and drink this nice Dr. Pepper. Okay, bye. This is like my favorite angle here, because you can see my feet. I got my feet up. I'm sitting in my garage. I'm having a good time. Oh, before we start, everybody wanted to know what was underneath this cardboard box that seemed to be uh, virtually indestructible. Well, I'm going to show you what made it so tough. I'm very excited right now because I've got a new handle on my hatchet. Slightly longer, giving me more forceful strike, same worn beaten down hatchet. Ballasts. <sighs> ballasts. What do you guys know about ballasts? Um, what do I know about ballasts? This may or may not contain polychlorinated bison, which is what you would normally refer to as PCBs, unless you know what PCBs stand for. Don't open these. This is this is from Phillips, and this is pre-1979, because in 1979, the United States Congress put a ban on the production of PCBs to insulate ballasts. Okay! That's the educational part of the video. This is another ballast. This is slightly larger for more heat lamps. This is from Magnatech. I'm going to show you guys real quickly what to look for if you've ever considered taking these apart. It says non-PCB right there, which means this was manufactured after 1979, somewhere in the 80s. I know for a fact this was manufactured 15 years ago because it was purchased brand new for a department store that I scrapped last week. Sorry about the video, guys. I would not recommend ever taking these apart. Mmm. You're still gonna get 30 cents a pound for them. This is copper bearing because there's copper in here. If you didn't know, that's not working at all. Let me take my hatchet to this. Oh my gosh! Why is this happening to me? Okay, enough playing around. Now that I've cut the flarings off, these are much easier to take apart when they're not so hot! Look at that! Insulating tar! Don't worry, no PCBs added. <laughs> it just sticks in. Hey, look, a brick of insulated stuff! Mmm, you can almost eat that, it's so good for you. There's your tin, or your bale, or your dealer clips B, or your black tin. Gone! Now, all this other stuff's not good for you either, but there's your capacitor, which charges a ballast. Throw that in the capacitor box. Now, you should start recognizing this. What does that look like? Shoot, that looks like a transformer. So does that. And in this form, these are worth about five to 10 cents more than in a ballast themselves. Just mix them in the bunch. Okay, bye. Okay, so we're gonna smash a teapot with a baseball bat. You know what this teapot's made of? Pewter, 45 cents a pound at least. An aluminum baseball bat. This is a non-PC. Oh, here we go. This is a non-PCB containing. <laughs> this ballast does not contain polychlorobison. 
Polychlor... Polychlor... Polychlorosol. Very, very good molluscable. Polychlorinated bison. Alrighty then. This ballast does not contain polychlorinated bison. However, this one doesn't say 